welcome to HSC Pre-Algebra. Uh, today we're going to be covering percents. Alright, so this is the percent symbol. If you were to have x percent, then it would be mean x per 100. It would be the equivalent of x over 100. So say that we have a rectangle, and it's split into thirds, so each of these portions are a third. If all of this, like if the entire rectangle is 100%, what percent of the rectangle is blue? Well, the answer is 33.333, it goes on forever, percent, because one third of uh, 100 is 0 0.3333333 and so 33.33 so on so forth percent. If you use the same logic as the previous question, this one, uh, figure out what percentage of 5 is 20. Alright, in this case the answer would be 25 percent because if you do 5 divided by 20 then you come up with 0 0.25 and so if you turn it into percent, then it becomes 25%. So what is 1% of 200? All right, so in this problem, you have to take 200 and say 200 is going to be 100%. Uh, so in that case, um, you can simply just multiply because one percent is as i said equivalent to one one hundredth then you multiply 200 by one one hundredth to figure out what one percent is and you get two and so what is five is ten percent of what this one requires a bit of thinking it's just like the previous problems you just have to put the variable or the missing number somewhere else all right, so in this case, we have to figure, uh, we know that 5 is equal to uh, 10 over 100 times an unknown number, let's say x. Um, so in that case, if you solve it out, then 5 is 10% of 50. Converting percent to decimals and converting decimals to percentages. Converting percentages to decimals and decimals to percentages are very, very easy. If you have 25%, you just remember that the percent symbol is the equivalent of 1 one hundredth. So if you multiply 25 by 1 one hundredth, then you'll get 0 0.25. If you add the percent symbol to a decimal, then you just move the decimal in the number two places to the uh, right from the original decimal. So say you go from 0 0.45 to a percentage, then you move the decimal two places to the right So now and add the percentage symbol, so now you have 45%. Converting from percent to fraction. It's also pretty easy. Remember that the percentage symbol is basically 1 one hundredth, so if you multiply the number by 1 one hundredth, instead of calculating it out into a decimal, you could just leave it as a fraction, and then, so if you have 25%, then it becomes 25 over uh, 100, because if you multiply 25 to 1 one hundred, then it becomes, it becomes 25 over 100. And then you can simplify it by 25, so this would become 1, and this would become 4. So 1 fourth, and we know that 1 fourth is um, uh, 25 percent and 25 over 100. So you just kind of just leave it as 1 fourth. So to go from a fraction to a percent, you just turn the fraction into a decimal and then turn the decimal into a fraction. So say we have, um, let's say one fifth. We divide one by five and we are left with 0 0.2 and then you turn 0 0.2 into a percent and you're left with 20%. Here are some practice problems. 
All right, and these are the answers. We know that uh, 50 percent is the equivalent of 50 one hundredths, and you can simplify that into one half. Same with um, basically the same with one twenty fifth as a percent. You just uh, divide one by twenty five, and you're left with zero point zero four, and then you turn add the percent symbol, and then it becomes four percent. If you have twenty percent as a decimal, then you're just going to do uh, twenty one hundredths, and then turn it into a decimal, which is zero point two. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.